Alright guys, so this is the definitive tutorial video for all the black scoping. I did a bunch of them, but this will be the last one. Hopefully just nice and super clearly laying it out for everybody. So uh, the first two black scopes that we can do are low end and high end no scopes. Uh, they're going to be you aiming down sight and then releasing the scope, uh, firing as you release the scope. The low end is firing very fast when you release, and the high end is uh, waiting an extra couple seconds to really get a nice no scopey esque effect. So I'll just hang out in for a second and just let these clips play out before we get to the next ones. Man, super sick. Love it. All right, so now this one is the third. Now what we're doing for the third is we're extrapolating the method from the first two black scopes but without having to actually, you know, fully see the target. These last two are uh, what you, what I would say are true black scopes. We are not seeing the target at all. You really get that cool black scope-esque effect that, that this is truly named after over the years. Now what we're doing is the same technique, just aiming in and releasing the scope, but we're doing this at a different timing before we're actually seeing it. Now this is one of my favorite ones. I feel like this is possibly the strongest way to snipe bar none. Uh, you know, and it actually this technique works very well at the medium and long ranges. It actually is very fast, much faster than regular quick scoping, and also it just looks really good. It freaking looks so sick. So I figured we'll let this play out before we talk about the last style of black scoping, the super epic other one. But this one is, just, it's, again, this one's probably my personal favorite, the one I like the most. Um, and, and sequentially, I should say, all of these are put in order of difficulty. So you, you should start with the first ones, go to the third, and then we'll end up here at the true black scope after doing a bunch of practicing and playing with some other stuff. So how we do the true black scope is exactly how we would do true black scopes over the years. You just you aim in without doing that, that aim out, without releasing none of the extra technique for the first three, just aiming in and finding proper timing to hit the shot. Just straight up, it's super beautiful, super nice. And I personally, personally really like it. The problem with it is it's really difficult to hit the timing right, honestly. Maybe it's a practice thing and, I don't know, long ranges with idle sway, it's tough. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy, Kittens. Peace.